What is up guys? I'm Daddy Gamer Fred. Today we're gonna be watching the Star Wars Squadrons official reveal trailer. A little bit is only known about this title right here. Obviously, it's gonna be a EA Star Wars flight simulator game-ish that involves cooperative play somehow. Don't know too much about the game. I'm excited. I'm a Star Wars fan, so I want to see exactly what this is doing. EA has a late has been doing great with the Star Wars. Granted, they started off in a very rough spot, especially with Star Wars Battlefront 2 and like how that launched. But then they kind of fixed Star Wars Battlefront 2 and then they dropped with obviously I forget the team. Uh, I'm probably gonna put it on the screen. The team that worked with EA that did the Fallen Order game. The team that they got behind, that was amazing. And my dog, Mello, you okay? Up on the couch, up on the couch. Oh, there you go. That was amazing. And to me, if this is the same quality or in the same ballpark of the quality of that, of Fallen Order, then we got something here. Let's see though. <laughs> Let's check out the trailer for the official Squadrons. Um, am I saying that right, Squadrons? Put up the volume button, press play, EA Motive, game engine footage. Okay, so a CG trailer basically, even though it's game engine here. Yes, yes, yes. Are we getting a full story with this or is this a online You are the empire's strength. Okay, I know. Do not accept defeat. I know. Remember why we fly. Mm. For hope. <laughs> For the new republic. Okay. Vengeance will be ours. It's looking like you could be both sides, which is cool. Show me a HUD with somebody flying around. That's what I want to see. Please. All this looks pretty. Looks amazing. But show me actual, please, gameplay. Five pilots. One squadron. So it's a team base? It's like team base air combat mobs? That's what I'm getting. Okay. Okay. Excuse me, spawn wave. Let's let's throw this back. That was not what I was expecting. <laughs> oh no, that was not what I was expecting. <laughs> um, it, it did end with a get brief um side card, so maybe they got a link to a website that explains more about the game. But just watching this trailer is so disappointing. EA, it's like please, like. Just like it's E3 season. Give us a trailer that shows us and explains the game like out of the gate. Like most people are just going to see this trailer. They're not going to be like me. That's going to go deep dive in and find out what more the game is about. And I feel like that's where they missed the mark. I left with so many ideas of what this game could actually be with no answers. <laughs> like, uh, how am I interested in spending money on a game I don't know nothing about when I walked in? <laughs> Granted, the trailer is fire. You get your Star Wars on. You get your pilots. You get um dope ships, you know, from the Star Wars series. Not everyone's favorite ships but you get recognizable ones and and granted even with that it still left the idea of what type of game play this is is it going to be a battle royale with a whole bunch of ships in the air or is it going to be a 5v5 that's what i think it's going to be 5v5 where you know protect and destroy you know basically like search and destroy but in the air 
like combat style. And again, there's no answer in the trailer. Like, oh I felt like something like that would have been so easy to show off and to explain via gameplay. You know what I'm saying? And again, they missed the mark. Granted, this is just a reveal trailer. Reveal trailers tend to follow this beaten path where they don't reveal much about the game, but just show off some nice cinematics and get us into the universe. But this, I feel like with Star Wars, we're already in that universe. <laughs> like, we're already excited. Like, just show us the game. It's Spawn Wave, stop it. Stop trying to come up. I'll watch your video later, Spawn Wave. But again, like, oh, EA. This is a great trailer. I'm gonna give it a three out of five. Now, after watching this trailer, I'm gonna dive in, find out more about the game and probably do a separate video on that explaining it. And Jesus Christ, why should I have to do that, EA? Why? <laughs> I love and hate EA at the same time. They do great decisions. Like doing a Star Wars game 2020, completely flight based. This is, this is cool. This is cool for the people who want this. Jesus Christ, why you couldn't just explain what it is and show us what it is via the trailer? And it makes me seem like my hopes are too high for it. That's why they didn't show what it is. And that's what happened with Jedi Ford and Oller. Like, I felt like that, the way they, you know, were showing the game off, it, it I was disappointed. But then when the game actually came out, the shit is fire. And they didn't showcase that before the game came out. And it just blows my mind that they didn't do that. And I feel like this may be the same thing, but we don't know <laughs> just by watching the damn trailer. Oh, God, EA, when would you learn? Let me know in the comment section below your thoughts of this Star Wars trailer. I think it's pretty cool. Not all our answers are answered via the trailer, but I'm pretty sure that we're going to get out information some way or another. It's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool looking trailer. I want to see more, obviously. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. I gave it a three out of five. Do you, would you rate it higher or lower? I want to hear your thoughts in the comment section below. As you guys know, I answer all comments, so let's have this conversation down there. If you're new around here, please hit that subscribe button. I do videos like this every day. Trailer reactions, Pokemon stuff, especially with the Pokemon DLC. I'm going to be knocking out videos about that. I'm going to beat Spawn Wave. Spawn Wave, stop. <laughs> And then I also do gameplay guides and stuff like that. Me playing Call of Duty or whatever the case may be. Whatever I feel like playing, I'm going to drop it here on the channel. So if you're into that type of content, hit that subscribe button. Also hit the like button. It does help me out a ton as far as moving the video over and to recommend it so other people can check out the video. Peace. I love you guys. I'm going to see you guys on the next one. And Melo, at the plus, up on the couch. Up on the couch. I got this couch and nobody stays here on the couch. This couch is for you. And you, you want to just jump on the floor and stay on the floor. It's fine. <laughs> I love you regardless, Mel. Thank you, thank you, thank you for making it to the end of this video. If you're not a subscriber and you made it this far, hit that subscribe button. You know you want to. Join the family, ring the bell so you can be notified on the next time I drop one of my videos, as well as hit the like button on this video so it can be recommended so more people can check it out so we can have more people join in the family. If you want to keep up with me on other social media platforms such as Twitter, Instagram, or TikTok, or whatever, I'm Daddy Gamer Fred on all all of those again daddy gamer fred you'll be able to find all those links in the description of this video and the pin tweet comment on my twitter also on all of my videos i do answer all comments so again if you just want to chat it up about the video or anything just hit me up in the comment section below i take time out of my day and literally answer to all the comments that you guys leave me and i love it and again let's have that conversation down there here are a couple of suggested videos that you guys should check out that may be of your interest i am a variety channel i do tons of stuff tons of pokemon but tons of other stuff as well so dive into these videos peace i love you guys i'm gonna see you guys on the next one